Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn about how to handle checkboxes in Selenium Python. So handling checkboxes in Selenium Python is absolutely simple and it's nothing different with the other web elements that you interact with. There is one method that I'll cover as part of this tutorial, which will be really helpful when you're working with checkboxes or radio buttons. So we'll cover checkboxes in this one and then radio buttons in the next tutorial. So let me quickly copy this code and create a new file. And in this Python file, I'll say demo checkboxes. I'll paste everything here. And then here I will say change the class name as check boxes and remove everything from here and let's say here i'll say demo checkbox okay so method name is demo checkbox now let me open the portal which we'll be demoing with okay so now we have been using this yatra.com website so here if you see the checkbox so this is the checkbox right so any checkbox on a web website you can you will be able to check and uncheck that right and there can be multiple checkboxes say for example there uh, the property of the checkbox is that you can select single one or you can select multiple of those together. So since there is just one checkbox here, we can just check and uncheck that. So if you, if I just right click and click on inspect of this particular item, let's see what exactly this checkbox looks like or what, what are the properties? So if we expand this a little bit, and here if you just go ahead and hover over this right so here you can see that input tag is highlighted and if you see the details of here the type of this particular web element is the checkbox and that's how it is differentiating that this particular web element is checkbox so the type is the checkbox similarly if we go to this sugar uh, crm website and if you go to request a demo page this is the best one to basically practice checkboxes and read button so here you will see there are multiple checkboxes right so same thing if I right click click on inspect on any of the checkbox you can see that it is of type input and then it is of type um, sorry it's it, it's of um, uh, the tag is input and the type is checkbox right so type is checkbox and similarly there are multiple checkboxes so let's say for example if we have to check these boxes uh, checkboxes multiple checkboxes how we can handle that and in the next tutorial, I'll cover these radio buttons as well. So let me close this quickly. Go ahead and open these, uh, open this portal. So sugar CRM on our Chrome browser. So this is basically setting up the Chrome driver. Um, uh, Chrome driver manager is setting that, that up and then we are launching the sugar CRM URL. Okay. Now once the URL has been request demo URL has been launched, what we need to do is we need to simply in the same fashion as we identify other web elements, we need to identify the checkboxes. So we'll simply say, for example, we want to check this marketing automation. So we'll simply right click inspect on that particular web element and I'll open selector sub just to ex expedite the process and you will see the relative X path has been there, right? So here it, it, this tool also gives you a bit of hint that this looks dynamic, right? So you have to, in case that this particular, you know, ID that interest market underscore C zero, this might be dynamic. So what in that particular case, what you need to do is if you are getting that suggestion, you have to make sure that this is actually unique, right? So if I inspect the sales one, so you will get the same thing that this is dynamic. But for now, I'll simply go ahead and use the IDs. I don't think they are dynamic, but in case your application, they are dynamic, you have to make sure that you use or change their XPath or locators accordingly. So I'll quickly copy this ID and we'll use ID in our script. So in order to click on this particular checkbox, I'll simply say element by ID. So we'll say by ID and we'll provide the ID in the double quotes or single quotes, whatever is there. And then we want to click on it, right? So we can say dot click method and that will click on this particular checkbox. Okay. So let's quickly run this. And then before that, let me put a bit of sleep there so that we can see that the click has happened actually. So let me put a four or uh, two second sleep there and then create an object of this class. So we'll say the object and create a variable and we'll say checkbox 
and then call the method that we have created right so these are all python fundamentals so you can go through the python series in case you haven't watched the series or you're new to python right so we're calling this particular method now if i run this it should open the browser launch the sugar uh, sugar crm request demo and it will click on that marketing checkbox right and then it closed it so that's how it will basically do it so before that let me maximize the page as well right so once we launch we'll simply say driver so that we can see it properly and then we'll say maximize window so let me run again and see the checkboxes so it's opening the browser you can see that it has checked the marketing checkbox right now say for example i want to select the other checkbox here say for example sales automation or the customer service solution then the process will still remain same so i'll simply inspect that web element i'll get the id of that particular or the locator of that particular web element so id is there i can select interest cell underscore co and then we'll use the same technique to basically click on those checkboxes on the second checkbox okay so i can simply say click on the interest cell checkbox as well and then let's sleep for a bit more time so that you can see that it is actually checking those or clicking on those checkboxes so let me run this it should open the browser maximize the page and if you see it has clicked on the first one let me scroll it a little bit then it has clicked on the second one we'll wait for the four seconds and closed the window right so that's how you will be basically handling the checkboxes nothing different simple finding the element or the checkboxes by the locator so by id if i'm getting the id unique id for the checkbox i'll use the id or xpath whatever i'll find those elements and then use the click method to click on the checkbox and select the checkboxes now another important method with the checkboxes is to verify whether the checkboxes are selected or not okay so there is a method is selected so say for example after clicking i want to verify that whether this particular checkbox has been selected successfully or not okay so what i can do is i can simply verify so i can say driver dot find element and then find that particular checkbox and then say dot is selected right so is selected function is there and this is selected function will return true or false so if this checkbox has been selected it will return true and if i say print so i can store it in a variable so i can say where one store it in the variable so this where one will hold true or false and if i print it where one it will print either true or false so in this case because i am selecting i'm click on this checkbox so the checkbox will be selected and it should print true in this particular case okay and then let's say for example i do not click this so let me comment this out right and then in the second case i want to check that the second sales checkbox whether it is selected or not so i'll say is selected and then store it in where to and then print where to okay so where to will hold the boolean value the return type basically this is selected will return true or false and that will be stored in the variable two and we are printing variable two okay so in the first case because the checkbox will be selected it will print true in the second case we have disabled these lines of selecting the checkbox so by default it is not selected it should return false when we say to check whether the checkbox is selected or not so let me run this and see it in action so opening the browser it will maximize the page let me scroll a little, little bit manually so that you can see and you can see here that true has been returned in the first case right and then in the second one it has written false so when we check that the second cell or the sales checkbox the second one has been selected or not then in that particular case it has returned false because by default when you load this particular request demo page it 
didn't had the selection in the sales automation and this is selected method is really helpful in verification process of the check boxes or the radio buttons in selenium with python okay so that's all for the details or the explanation on how to work with the check boxes in selenium with python and how to use is selected method to verify whether the check box is selected or is not selected okay we have also covered if you want to select multiple check boxes you still have to follow the similar process to identify the web element to, uh, to identify the locator for those check boxes and use the click method to check those check boxes so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching